the Quad City Angels scored all seven of theirs in the eighth inning. 1-1 pitch, swung on, fly ball, deep in the left field. Going after it is Todd Smith. He won't get it. Nobody will. It's gone for a home run. Jeff Manto hits a home run for him. That is his seventh of the season. Brings in three runs, gives him 22 RBIs, and it's 5 to nothing Quad City, and they still don't have anybody out. For Jeff Manto, a line drive home run over the left field wall, and that is home run number seven. And add three more RBIs for a total of 22. And you look at a score of five to nothing, all five runs in the top of the fourth inning, and Greg Maddox is having problems. Outside for Eric Pappas, ball one. Still no action in the Chiefs' bullpen. Absolutely vacant, although Bob Glenn Denning did uh, move out there, one of the catchers. That one's fouled away. It's one and one. Pappas grounded right back to the hill his last time up. That was to close out the second inning. Five runs on five hits for a Quad City here in this fourth inning. Two single, three singles, a double, and Jeff Mantos, three-run homer. That one's a strike outside corner. One, or excuse me, two and, or one and two. Before this uh, inning, Greg Maddox had only given up uh, one hit, a double to Doug uh, Jennings in the, sec in the first inning. One ball, two strikes to count to Eric Pappas, the catcher. Ooh, that one just missed, two and two. Can I say that? Ooh. <laughs> I don't know. Is that what you say? I think so. <laughs> Luke Boutreau says it a lot. Two, two, the pitch. Inside, full count, three and two. You'll be in the Hall of Fame in no time. <laughs> <laughs> Another full count to a batter. I think that's the fourth one tonight. Maddox pitch. He takes it low for a ball. Let's another one get away as Eric Pappas draws a base on balls and brings up Dario Nunez. That's the third walk allowed by Maddox tonight. Now some activity in the bullpen. Bob Glendening, the catcher, gets up out there. And warming up for the Chiefs is going to be Hugh Pober. Hugh Pober, number 50. Hugh is a left-handed pitcher who has a 1-2 and two record and a 5.32 ERA. Dario Nunez, the shortstop up. He's 0-1 tonight. Fouls that one away. What? Why do they list him as a left-handed pitcher? I don't know. He's throwing with his right hand out there. Maybe he's a well, switch thrower. Is he's, there anything? A, he's a right-handed pitcher. I don't know. This, <laughs> the score sheet tonight is just not on the mark. <laughs> Let me check last night and see what it says. There's Pover right there, number 50, in the bullpen. Yeah, they're confused here. Strike one is the count to Dario Nunez. Five runs for Quad City in this inning. Still at bat. Nobody out and a runner at first. That one is struck, swung on and missed and gets away from Hector Villanueva and it allows Pappas to go on to second base. That'll be a pass ball. Runner at second. Nobody out for Quad City. We're in the top of the fourth. The Angels already with five runs across the plate. Maddox looks in. Nobody out. Runner at second. The big blow of the inning. Jeff Mantos three-run line drive home run over the left field wall. I mean, that was straightaway left field over that 335 mark. And 0-2 the count to Nunez. He swings and misses a strikeout. And Peoria finally gets the first out of the inning. And it's the second strikeout of the night for Greg Maddox. And it brings up the second baseman, Speedster Pete Coachman. He's 0 for 2 tonight. In fact, he's about due because he was 0 for 3 last night. He's 0 for 5 in his two-game series. Coachman. Coachman's a 281 batter. The second baseman for Broad Cities. Hugh Pober continues to warm up. He's uh, known as the policeman on the club, I believe, and I think I know the reason why. He's six foot five and two twenty-five. So here's Pete Coachman, right-handed batter facing Maddox. He takes the ball. Doug Jennings started out with a base hit, scored on Dante Bichette's double. Bichette went to third on Tom Alfredson's single. Terry Jones got a single to drive Dante Bichette in. 
And then Jeff Manto followed that up with a three-run homer. After that, Eric Pappas walked, went to second on a wild pitch. Nunez has struck out for the first out of the inning, and it brings up Pete Coachman, who has a one-ball, no-strike count. Five runs across for Quad City. We're in the fourth inning. Five, six, and one for the Angels. 0-2 and 0 for the Chiefs. Ball, 2 and 0. And Maddox is in trouble. And that right now with five runs across is an understatement. Jim Wright, the pitching coach, standing right behind Pober now. He's the one that's going to give the sign to Pete McCannon that Pober is ready. Well, the wind has not been the enemy of Greg Maddox. The wind is not much at all if there's any wind. Ground ball foul, two and one. It's coming from right to left field, so it didn't harm the home run by Jeff Manto. But uh, it's not much of a wind at all. Last night, the game started with calm air, and by the ninth inning, it was a pretty brisk breeze going from right to left. After tonight, both teams will switch places. Tomorrow and Thursday, they'll be at John O'Donnell Stadium in Davenport, Iowa, between the Angels and the Chiefs. 2-1 count to Pete Coachman with a runner at second and one out. Ground ball foul. Two and two. If you're enjoying the ball game and you want to see more of this kind of alternative programming on either Channel 47 or Channel 24, give the stations a call. It's the only way that the stations know that you appreciate this kind of programming. Channel 47 viewers in the Peoria area, 676-4747. And Channel 24 viewers in the Quad Cities area, 796-2424. WQPT in the Quad Cities. Quad. Our flagship station, WTVP here in Peoria. 2-2 pitch. Oh, right back to the box. Maddox had to duck to get out of the way. Goes into center field. Here comes the runner coming to the plate. It gets past the pitcher. Now over to second, and he's in there. So it's a single. It will probably go as a single for Pete Coachman. Another run batted in, and it's six to nothing in favor of Quad City, and Coachman's on at second. And here comes manager Pete McCannon. Out of the dugout, we'll take a look at the replay here, Ed. Pitch from Maddox, and uh, he sticks his arm up, but uh, had no chance of uh, grabbing that ball as it rolls into center field where Richardson picks it up. He throws into Villanueva at the plate. The play is not that uh, close. Villanueva fires back out to second base where Brian House tries to put the tag on the runner, but uh, he is safe. And Quad Cities has a big rally going, and the Peoria pitcher, Greg Maddox, heads for the dugout. And Hugh Pober is coming in. It will go as a base hit for Pete Coachman and Coachman taking second on the throw to the plate to Hector Villanueva. Boy, I'll tell you, Maddox had to duck to get out of the way of that one and that was just reflex action. That was all he could do to get out of that one because that was coming right straight for the nose. I believe so. And he ducked into the dugout after that uh, to conclude uh, his uh, appearance. Three and a third innings. He gave up seven hits. He gave up... Uh, uh, six runs. He's responsible for yet another run that is uh, sitting out on second base. They're all earned. They're all earned. He gave up three base on balls and two strikeouts. That's unusual for uh, Greg Maddox. Maddox has um, 92 strikeouts and 31 base on balls on the season, so you can see he had control problems uh, and now is out of the ball game after three and a third innings. Hugh Pober comes in. I'll tell you a little bit about Hugh. He's one and two, has an ERA of 5.32, and he has struck out 10 batters. He has walked 14, so his control is not magnificent by any stretch of the imagination. And he has pitched 20 and a third innings. A 5.32 ERA, 1-2 record for number 50, Hugh Pober. 225 pounds worth of Hugh Pober. Well, Quad City sent 12 men to the plate in the eighth inning last night, scoring seven runs. Ken Grant will be the ninth batter to come up to the plate in his fourth inning, and already the Quad City Angels have six runs on the board. To give you an idea of the control problems that Maddox had, uh, you're looking at, in an average nine-inning game, probably 100 pitches for a pitcher, maybe 110, even 120 at the outside. In three and a third innings, 73 pitches. CRC 72. The message center 
announces Hugh Pober as Hugh Andre the Giant Pober. Six foot, <laughs> six foot five, 225, I believe it. <laughs> so runner at second base for Quad City and only one out in the top half of the fourth inning. Quad City has scored six runs in this inning. Doug Jennings started it off with a single. That was followed by an RBI double by Dante Bichette. Bichette went to third base on a base hit by Tom Alfredson. Then Terry Jones got a base hit to score Bichette for an RBI single. And then Jeff Manto with a three-run line drive homer on a 1-1 pitch over the left field wall. That was followed by a walk to Eric Pappas. He went to second on a, on a pass ball. Then after a strikeout to Dario Nunez, Pete Coachman got a base hit. Eric Pappas rounded third trying to score. And the throw was high and late to Hector Villanueva. And on that throw to the plate, Pete, Co Pete Coachman rounded first and made it to second. So that's where we stand right now. Only one out. And Quad City with six runs in in this fourth inning and still batting. And Ken Grant, who officially is 0 for 1 tonight, a strikeout in the first inning and walked and was picked off first to end the third. He is the ninth man to come to the plate for the Quad City Angels in this fourth inning. Six runs on six hits so far for Quad City. Ken Grant at the plate, batting 249 for Quad Cities. Hugh Pober has three saves in addition to his one and two record. That was high. Ball one. A shot of the second baseman, or second baseman, I should say, the runner at second base, Pete Coachman, returning. Oh, he is a second baseman. Though. That's true. That's You're why right. I said that. And <laughs> then dawned on me he's not fielding. <laughs> Ken Grant looks in at a ball one pitch from Hugh Pober. He was busy last night, although he wasn't officially in the game. He never made the game. <laughs> Out of play on a foul, one and one. Well, once again, a lot of excitement at mine and field. If you've never been out here, come out and enjoy a game at Pete Vanakin's Park, or I should say the Peoria Park District's Park, Pete Vanakin's team. A lot of excitement. They come in bunches, three, six, seven <laughs> runs at a time. And we're bringing you tonight's runs on Channel 47 and Channel 24. 1-1 one, one pitch. Grant swings and misses for a strike. One and two. And you're liable to see some dignitaries out here when you come out. Bob Feller's been here. Lou Brock was here last year. Sean Dunstan. Sean Dunstan was here this year. Fred Bird the Red Bird was here last night. Harry Carey's been here for opening night the last two seasons even though the uh, Chiefs were affiliated with the Angels last year. And that scoreboard that you see every now and then, Harry Carey had a lot to do with. I think I know the reason why for that. If you've yeah, ever seen the scoreboard here. If you see the here. scoreboard, you'll know why, because you'll see the answer. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, pitch, swung on and missed. Well, well strike out of the game for Hugh Pober and the third overall for Chiefs pitching tonight. Two out, and the 10th man to bat in the inning, Doug Jennings, comes up. He started it all off with a base hit to lead off the fourth inning. The scoreboard was calling for Hugh to hold him. said, hold him, Hugh, and so far, he's done that after one batter with the K. Big strikeout for Hugh Pover. Two outs in the inning. Well, two outs in the inning, both on strikeouts, but six okay. runs in between. Here's Doug Jennings, two for two, a double and a base hit, and a run scored. Fly ball, shallow right field. There looking for it is Palmero and makes the play. So for Quad City in the fourth inning, they get six runs on six hits, no errors, and one man left. And after three and a half innings at Minan Field in this Midwest League game, the Quad City Angels lead the Peoria Chiefs six to nothing. <laughs> 